Hi, I'm Phyllis Southern Frugal.com. This morning, bright and early, we ended up going to Columbia and had a few things to do there, so we just skipped our smoothie for breakfast and we're having it for lunch. So I wanted to do some, uh, every once in a while, do a smoothie video just because we've got so many new people that are now doing green smoothies. This is a couple of really big handfuls of baby organic mixed greens and that's got uh, all kinds of greens in there so that's what we're going to start with and then we're going to add let me turn the camera down we're going to add this is uh, i think three leaves of kale so we're going to put that in and I always use a fresh orange, especially when I'm uh, using kale because it kind of kills the taste of it. So I've already, it's a really large orange. I went ahead and peeled it and cut it up. Also one organic carrot, and I do get organic whenever I can find it. Also one little stalk of celery, just going to put that in just because. This is the cream of wheat and oatmeal, and this is about three-fourths of a cup. What I do is cook the oatmeal and cream of wheat together, spread it out on a big, uh, really a broiler sheet is what I use, and cut it in squares and freeze it. That way I can, we can uh, use it in the smoothies every morning. I also put it in the microwave to thaw it out. It takes about a minute. So that works out really well. I just kind of break that up and put it in. Also, these are dates, uh, and what this is about six dates. I just broke them in half. I do steam my dates and freeze those, too. I take the seeds out first, of course, so that's about six dates. And I don't know if y'all are aware of it or not, but our Walmart now has organic bananas, and they really taste so much better than the regular bananas. In fact, after you have the organic, the other bananas kind of don't have any taste. So, all right, let's turn this up now so y'all can see. So I, this um, Vitamix now holds six, uh, 64 ounces, but I even take it up a little past that uh, 64 ounce mark. And I just cut the ends off the bananas. Now these bananas were not frozen but usually the bananas I put in have been frozen. I just usually freeze them in the bottom of my freezer. See how pretty that is? And this morning we're also having fresh strawberries. And the reason I bought them is because these strawberries come this time of year from Mc. McBee, South Carolina, which is just up the road from us. But they do sell them at our local Walmart. So here are the strawberries. That's about two cups of strawberries. All right, I'm going to have to grind this down a little bit so I can get everything in. So I'm going to add some filtered water to it. It's usually about well, I usually end up adding about two cups. Now, let me find my lid. All right, here we go. And this is um, the 5200 series of Vitamix, and I got it, I think I've had it for four years now. All right, I'm going to turn it on. It's going to be loud. strawberries in. I believe I can. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little peanut butter in there. I say a little because we're, I'm making four 16 ounce glasses. So that's about four tablespoons of peanut butter. 
sometimes, of course, I use English walnuts. I really like those in the smoothies. Sometimes pecans and sometimes roasted almonds. But we really like the peanut butter with the strawberries. All right. I almost licked that off my finger in front of the camera, which is what I usually do. All right, now just for safekeeping, I'm going to go ahead and add just a couple of tablespoons of honey because I know these strawberries are going to be sour. Just a couple of tablespoons just to make sure it's sweet enough. And we'll just go ahead and put a little more water. And that ought to do it. Here we go again. Now I'm going to stir it down a little bit. just on the edges because I fill it more than the 64 ounces so sometimes some greens don't get totally mixed in. All right, going to taste of it now. Hmm. It tastes like strawberries and peanut butter. All right, let's go one more time. filled it almost all the way to the top and that still works. All right, so these glasses hold 16 ounces. And the ballots I'm going to put in a freezer bag. And I have this little pan I use. I put it down in the pan and put it right in the freezer. And to thaw it out, wait a minute, all you have to do is put it down in something with some hot water in it and in about 20 minutes it's all thawed out so that works great uh, for uh, saving time in the morning all right so here we go let's pour this out in the glasses and in the bag turn it all around a little bit there Pour this in the bag. I just kind of hold the bag up, turn it out in there. Now this is a little more, a little thinner than they usually are, so most of that is going to come out of the debt. And I kind of stick a spatula in there and get as much out as I can. So there it is. And then what I do is now this little pan works perfect for this. I just lay it down and just try to get all the air out that I can. Like that. And just lay it out flat. And I do that just in case the bag would open up. I wouldn't want it to make me have to defrost my freezer. All right, y'all, so that's it. Uh, another smoothie video and uh, I, again I'm doing that because uh, we've got so many new people and I'm so thrilled every time somebody writes and tells me they started doing making green smoothies and how much better they feel and that's really the reason I've done so many of these because it made a really big difference in our lives uh, certainly for the energy and I don't really uh, paying any attention to the number of calories and the reason I don't is because we always 99% of the time we have them first thing in the morning and I feel like whatever calories we had we use them up before the end of the day. Alright y'all we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.